What's up guys, it's Machos Tarantulas bringing you another rehouse today. Um, we still have this many left. <laughs> um, and today we are going to be doing the Nundu Tripepi. Now, I'm saying today because you guys are going to get one video like per day type of thing. Like Wednesdays and Saturdays and, and so on and whatever. Anyways, so... On this specific video, we're doing the Nandu Tripepi, or I think it's the Brazilian Giant Blonde, right? Yes. Um, excuse on me. On here, they say guess. Strawberry excuse Bird me. Eater, but like on their website right. of the same thing, it says Giant Blonde. Is it Bird Eater? I don't think it is a Bird Eater. I'm not sure. We, we'll do more research. We'll do more research. So I'm going to show you guys something really quick. Besides the point, Nandu Tripepi. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys a trick that I do. Well, it's not really a trick. It just requires a couple of things. So not everybody needs a tarantula cribs, right? To put their uh, uh, tarantulas in or other spiders, okay? So I'm going to show you something that we did. I bought the these from the dollar store, okay? I, all I do, you just go get a torch like this. It's just a little mini torch from Amazon or something like that. It's like 15, 20 bucks and you get some sewing needles. You hold the end of it. You want it to glow hot. Don't burn yourself. And then it'll just melt right through. And now you got some holes. So that is how I create these little mini enclosures, okay? Um, the hole is too small for the tarantula to get through, so it creates perfect air holes, and then that way you can house baby tarantulas. So the sling here of the Nandu Tripepi is extremely small, and so we're just going to unscrew this guy. Just like that. Um... We're just going to chunk some of that in there. That's a lot of rehouses though, baby. Chunk some of this in there. Are you going to put some videos together? It's possible. It's depending on how short they are. And then throw a repti bark in there. Some moss in there. And this one isn't going to get a water bowl. Right. Just like that. And then you take your little sprayer, and instead of spraying, we're just going to do this. Very carefully. Very gently. Get us some water droplets. And now she'll have uh, water to drink. It's also soaked this side. And if she doesn't want to be on that side, she can go to the other side. And now to rehouse. Oh my god, she's so tiny. Um, what we're gonna do... There's construction going on near us. There's just like one huge string. Why does this look like, like fucking cordyceps? Is she in the moss? Yeah. Oh my god. And yeah. I'm trying to focus on her, but it's very hard. 
She's alive, right? Oh, yep. Wow. So here is my plan. Oh my god, she's so tiny. She probably doesn't like the way the brush feels. Ooh! It's very hard to focus. There she is. There we go. Wow. You weren't kidding. Yeah. That is like the size of the sasamo when we got it. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> all right, guys. With that being said, we will see you all in the next one. Have a great day and say bye to Miss Trey Peppy.